Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Today I am sharing another balloon garland. It was requested like every balloon garland on my channel. Every balloon garland is requested. So whoever requested this balloon garland, hands up. I want to see who you are. So today we are doing rose gold gold and burgundy balloon garland. Very pretty. It's over there. That's why I am looking at it turned out very very good it took me about two hours to do the whole thing so pretty fast i would say and i had fun also these hair clips you guys love them so much i'm using them on myself and on my daughter as well they look beautiful if you're interested i'll link them down below as well without any further ado let's jump into this fun video let's go over all of the supplies that i have here and additional ones that i didn't put in here i have rose gold gold and burgundy uh themed i guess uh, balloon garland planned for today i have um, these foiled large balloons i bought them on amazon then 36 rose gold balloons 12 inch gold confetti balloons 5 inch burgundy 12 inch burgundy and uh, 12 inch rose gold balloons you guys i am using a 20 pound fishing line i switched to a heavier fishing line because uh, i don't see any snaps with a 20 pound fishing line usually my 15 or 10 pound fishing line would snap on me once in a while with 20 i don't have any problems yet so i'm using that my low temperature glue gun you guys i have it listed every single time in the description under the video so go ahead and check it out a low temperature glue gun won't pop your balloons except um, the ones that i posted uh, a little bit or in my previous video those really interesting balloons that they just don't tolerate hot glue at all in any temperatures i am using my electric balloon pump to blow all of these um, balloons up i will show you up close how i'm uh, blowing my foil balloons because um, it, it's gonna be a little hard to blow them through this um, straw by mouth so stay tuned for that and let's go all right my coffee's here another drink is here i'm running on coffee and adrenaline these past few days so i'm starting with blowing my balloons on what i'm planning to do right now i want to use my 36 inch rose balloons rose gold balloons and 12 inch rose gold balloons mostly and then mix in some of the 12 inch burgundy and to fill in spaces i'll use uh, these uh, burgundy five inch balloons at the very end so i am taking my rose gold 12 inch balloons, mixing them up with a little bit of burgundy colored balloons, blowing all of the balloons in different sizes, blowing them at the same time, tying them together, pairing them, making clusters. And from those clusters, we're gonna build our foundation and main balloon garland structure. One more thing, you guys, I am uh, blowing these 36 inch balloons separately. And then I want to go to my balloon garland and place them, as I usually say, strategically on my balloon garland. Because I noticed that when you work with 36 inch balloons right away in your balloon garland, sometimes uh, the shape of balloon garland is not the same that you want it to see. And sometimes 36 inch balloons, they kind of hide in the back and they're kind of pointless that they're there. You know what I mean? So I want them to be visible and I want to place them in right spots, right places. So um, to tie, I don't have it here, to tie my balloons, I will be using... Uh, my balloon tying tool that I usually use. I will link everything in the description down below. So go ahead, go ahead and check it out. So let's go, let's go, let's go.
my work cut out for me. I need to clean all of this. Ah! There's one on your hair. Where? Thanks. <laughs> I just cleaned this room. I just cleaned literally from top to bottom. I need to clean it again. <sighs> Story of my life. I will try to show you how I blow these balloons up to the best of my ability. It's, it's going to be a little tough, but I'll try. So these balloons come with this uh, half straw sort of a thing. Okay. So what I do is I insert... Uh, this straw into this opening for balloons just like that and then holding like leaving just a little bit like an inch of this straw and then going to my balloon pump inserting in this um, leftover straw into my balloon pump and you need to hold your balloon and your straw at the same time and start blowing. At the same time, I am pinching my balloon as close as possible to that drink, to that straw because the air is escaping. So pinch it, make sure it's like there. And as you can see, there are still seams left. These balloons are, um, these balloons created not to have these uh, little wrinkles over here. So keep blowing them up until all the wrinkles are gone, but try not to overfill them because they will pop. As soon as your wrinkles are gone, as you can see, it's like almost none of them left. I don't want to overblow these balloons. Take your straw out. And here you have a beautiful round foiled balloon. Hi there. Hello, hello, hello. All right, my balloons are ready. Time to construct our balloon garland. I am starting with a, a one of the clusters, taking my fishing line and tying a knot or a few nuts. First one's down. Let's take a second cluster, putting it right on top of my first cluster taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the newly placed balloons and then pull on your fishing line and push on your balloons around another newly placed balloon pull on your fishing line and push on your balloons again around older balloon push and pull around older balloon push and pull. Let's take a third cluster. Again, right on top with your fishing line. Wrap around your newly placed balloon. Pull on your fishing line and push on your balloons. Not too hard, but enough for the balloon garland to be uh, pretty tight and nice looking. Around newer balloon. Push and pull. Okay, around older balloon, push and pull. Older balloon, push and pull. And around newer, pull and push. It's looking really, really good. And keep on building like that. And 
you're gonna be good to go in no time you'll build your balloon garland ran out out of my fishing line I wasn't much on that spoolie thing and I thought it would be enough but I guess not so I have like five clusters left not a big deal we're gonna use them anyways and to secure your uh, garland you're gonna hold your fishing line in the palm of your hand and with the other take the tail and wrap around one of your balloons and you're gonna create this loop over here so take this um, tail and feed it through the loop and pull on the tail and repeat that one or two times to make sure you secure your balloon garland really really good all right we're good to go and let's hang this up my balloon, main balloon garland structure is made. Now I need to hang this up. So how am I doing this? I'm taking the safety pin and I'm pushing my safety pin into my door trim from the top. I did use command hooks. I don't know if you can catch it here, but I did tell you the story. I placed the command hook. I was trying to pull it like properly by the ear, you know? But the ear uh, ripped, so I had to kind of jiggle and kind of pull it. Wrong move, I pulled and I pulled the paint with the hook. So I am not coming close to any of the command hooks. They did an amazing job in my previous um, balloon garland. It, hold, it held my balloon garland amazing, but I will be using my command hooks on different surfaces, but not my painted walls. So, solution for you guys to take a safety pin, push it into the trim, take extra piece of fishing line, wrap around your balloon garland, and then go to that safety pin and tie it to that pushed in safety pin. It will hold your balloon garland 100%, test it 100 times. So let's do this. My structure is there, so now, now it's time for these big balloons, my rose gold balloons, any other balloons that I want to finish this balloon garland with. So how am I tying my big, or how am I attaching my big balloons? I'm taking extra fishing line, tying that fishing line to my giant big balloon, going to the spot where I want them to be, and tying them to the nearest 12 inch balloon on my balloon garland. You guys, for this balloon, I am not tying just because it's a little harder with my little steps. Uh, I need a different ladder and that different ladder is with my husband at work, so I am gluing this big balloon with my low temperature glue gun. I'm gonna glue my foiled balloons down with my low temperature glue gun. Now, somewhat I see what I wanna do with this balloon garland, so it's time to place my gold balloons, gold confetti balloons, and my five inch balloons also. I will probably add more of those leftover clusters that I had over here to kind of fill in space over here. Other than that, I am super happy with this. I just need to fix this just a little bit.
Here is what I have for you guys today. Look at this beautiful arch. I love how it looks. My safety pins are in my uh, door trim and they hold this balloon garland really, really good. I did add one more safety pin on the on this side because this foil balloon was weighing down my main balloon garland way too much down. So had to add one more. So overall, I have one, two, three safety pins holding on my balloon garland. Everything that you see here, you guys, I will be listing in a description under the video. The quality of all the balloons, I was very happy. They are these rose gold and these uh, burgundy balloons. They are a little bit more tougher, but they blow nicely and they just look beautiful. I love it. I didn't have a problem with any of them. Uh, these 36 inch balloons were a little bit too hard to tie because they're so like tough. So I had a little bit of struggle to tie them, but I did it. And yeah, everything looks really, really cute. Uh, balloon count for this balloon garland, I will list in the description under the video and everything I used for this balloon garland will be listed in the description under this video as well. I'll share a few pictures at the end of this video. Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my balloon garland. Let me know what you think. I like it. It kind of reminds me more of fall. I don't know, maybe because of darker colors, but it's very cute. Love it. Everything I used for this balloon garland is listed in the description under the video. So go ahead and check it out. Also, you guys, if this was enjoyable, helpful, and inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos and great DIY. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and wonderful weekend, and I will see you back very soon. Bye.